What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out Molasses Floods, Drake Hollow. If you recognize that name as a developer, or if you don't, it's because they made a game that I actually liked a lot called The Flame in the Flood. It was a very stylized game about floating down a river and crafting and attempting to survive in an apocalyptic world that had basically been flash flooded out of existence. And it was one of those survival games that I think a lot of people passed over. Like the game released around the same time as like The Long Dark and some other really big survival games that kind of sucked the air out of the room and I never felt like it really got the traction that it deserved. So anyways, this is the next game from those developers. Uh, they made a really, really good game in The Flame and the Flood and I'm excited to check this one out. This is a base building, crafty game about exploration. There's sandboxy elements to it. You find these little critters called, uh, I think they're called drakes and you bring them back to your town and you build them all the stuff that they need to be happy so that they will do work for you and then they will also produce resources so that you can produce more stuff that it's like built up and makes your town better. So anyways, we've got about 30, 35 minutes to play around with. Let's dive on in, check the game on out, and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list. Let's go. I mean, you always have the opportunity to pass if that's what you're into. I feel like that's one of the worst breakup lines. Like, I think we should see other people. <laughs> I feel like that's a, that's a bad breakup line. That's basically, you're showing your hand, man. You're being like, listen, there's somebody else that I think is awesome and I want to go hang out with them. Like, I don't know. It feels like this thin, thin veneer when you could just be honest and be like, eh, I'm not really into this relationship anymore. There's other people that I'm interested in. Like, yeah, that's kind of painful, but at least it's honest. You know what I mean? You're like, mm, I think we should see other people. I think what you're trying to say is that you think you should see other people. <laughs> Just be honest, man. Just be honest. All right, so we've got our character over here. Uh, we've got different faces that we can throw down on. Everything from uh, freckly faces to strong jaws. We'll go with, like, what kind of hairstyles we got around? We got bodies. There we go. I'm going to be a dude. Be a, oh, we're kind of like Fabio out here. We're kind of like ripped, bro. All right, and then what else do we want to do here? Uh, hair was what I was thinking about. We also need to get like a little suntan, you know what I mean? Like, gotta have a... I mean, that's fine by me. I'll be honest with you. I've shaved my head since I was like 20, and, and so that's like fine by me. I never even bothered with hair, dude. Like, I don't know. It never really mattered to me. Like, I had really, really long hair, like down to my ass for like probably about 10 years, and then I just started shaving my head one day, and it was just so easy. Before you get in the shower, just... Doesn't even matter. And then you just don't even have to think about it. You just keep like that nice one razor fuzz at all times. Oh, my eyebrows don't match my hair. Yeah, we got to get that lined up. There we go. We get the eyebrows to match the hair real quick. All right, so eyebrows and hair are looking good. Uh, let's hit the tanning booth a little bit. Actually, maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. Seems like we're pretty tan out here. Seems like... Okay, like when you, I feel like when you frame it from that perspective, like actually, yeah, we do have kind of a tan. It's just I didn't realize the maximum whiteness that like you could achieve here. Like we've definitely got like that never seen sunlight in my life look going on. And so we'll, we'll get that little tan right there just so we don't sunburn super nasty. Let's get all fitted up. What kind of clothing we got around here? I mean, I wear a button up and an undershirt pretty much all the time. So like I, I think that's the obvious choice as far as pants go. Nah, man, you gotta have them chinos, dude. You can't be looking like the shreddy jeans and stuff. It's sloppy. You might have a job interview or something. You gotta be looking good with the chinos. And what else we got going on here? We got some boots. I do like the boots, man. I almost bought some boots, but dude, boots are insanely expensive. Like, if you're trying to get, like, those old, like, hobnail boots from, like, they look like they're from, like, 1920 or whatever, dude, they are pricey. And so I, I balked, dude. I was too afraid. I couldn't afford it. I was just like, dude, that's a lot of money for a shoe. I don't know if I can drop that much cash on a shoe reno, bro. Dude. 
Dude, how come I've never been given the opportunity to hang out with a magical Corvid, bro? I'm super upset by this. Like, so this dude gets broken up with by his girl or his boyfriend or whatever. And then a magical bird shows up to give him soul healing adventures? I've literally never had that as a crutch in my entire life, dude. I wish I had that. <laughs> magical Corvids. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep running down the road. And we'll just kind of see what we find around here. I've got a different path for... If you've got a different path for me, why'd you... Oh, okay, so we're gonna go through the spiny... Uh, we're gonna go through the spiny brush. Understood. Alright. We have going on over here. Like, I don't like it's kind of one of those things though. If you see a bird that's effervescing minty essence out of his eyeballs, I don't know if I would follow him around. Like, that bird may not have my best intentions in mind. Like, he's got spearmint coming out of his ocular, bro. Uh, hey kid, look. I've been sent to find somebody, and I think you're it. This door that I'm sitting on, I'm gonna need you to walk through it. It's not normally, strictly speaking, a normal spooky door in the woods. It's kind of more of a portal. Some folks on the other side could really use your help, though. I can't force you to step through. You gotta do that on your own, but, uh, I'd appreciate you deciding fast. My brain's getting foggier the longer that I'm on this side. Not gonna be able to stick around for much longer. I gotta warn you, though. It could be a one-way trip. Ain't no telling when you might get back, and it's gonna be dangerous. So you up for adventure? Step on in. Alright, let's go, man to the sound of these soft one in the morning bar jams. Did it have to suck me through the door like Bojack Horseman second to last episode style? Like couldn't I just walk through and then peacefully just like appeared wherever I was supposed to? Why does the door have to be so traumatic? Just for, just for like scene building? I just, I always wonder what gods are making these decisions in various realms. Like, you want people to go through the door, but then you make it, like, super abundantly unpleasant and terrifying to go through the door. Like, that to me is just poor salesmanship. It's just bad salesmanship. I would make the door full of candy. Oh, I can pick up these mushrooms? Yeah, let's get some mushrooms then, dude. For sure. We're in an adventure in the afterlife. Why not bring some gold caps with us? Uh, that won't lead to harm or any, any form of fumble. Alright, I'm just gonna grab them along the way. I assume it's gonna expect me to pick these up anyways. Like, otherwise, why would they put them there? And so we'll just grab them real fast. I don't see anything that I can chop. Like, I can't take down trees or nothing. Hey, you made it! Much better. Head was fogging up something awful out there. No offense, but I hate crossing over. If I'm being honest, I wasn't really sure you'd do it. I've been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to the hollow. It's seen better days, I'm afraid. That's kind of why you're here. Follow me. I'm gonna clarify. Alright, well, across this super suspect, definitely not built by an engineer bridge. Okay. Jump oh man, we dude! Look at that vertical leap right there. Look at that height. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I brought you here at the request of an old friend. Someone from your side of the hedge way back. Probably best if you just heard from her directly. She left me this note. Alright, dear wise crow, I know how to help you in the drakes. I need you to find a warrior strong of will and body and sensitive to animals. Look for them when the hedge is thin. Bring them to finish what I am too frail to accomplish. They must work with the drakes in order to build their power and seek out my effects hidden from the terminer. Termine, ter terminer. Find them. It's the only way to save the hollow. Yours, Sarah Howe. So there we are. You got that youthful vigor that we need. The hedge was thin, and as evidenced by this here conversation, you got the gift of animal whispering. Come on. I got something I want you to try. And some folks I think you should meet. Alright, well, let's go. Dude, tire swings. I remember tire swings. Although I always remember tire swings being kind of wobbly and unreliable. Like, they never quite swung right. You know what I mean? Like, they always had, like, a wobble to them. Like, especially, like they were tied from the top, you know what I mean? And then you would sit in it, kind of, like, lean funny. I don't know, dude. I don't know. 
I also, I remember those swing sets from when I was a kid where it was like the two chairs that faced each other and you had like a battle rocking to see who could throw the other person off. Now that we've had a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. I got a little theory about you. I want to test it out. See if I really did choose the right person for the job. I think there's more to you than you realize. Best see for yourself. The pile of crystals over there? Get up close. Attune your mind on waking them. See what happens. Alright, dude. Crystal, I awaken you with the powers of my newly awakened mind. Okay, so apparently I've been gifted the power of a maple branch by an underground sentient onion. Believe it or not, I've had weirder, I've had weirder Fridays. Alright, so we've got a beat stick now. What does this thing do? It's the depot. Oh, I can put stuff in there. Gotcha. Alright, well the bird's back over there. I already equipped a melee weapon, so... Oh, he came back. Is it like, I like him better than I like the onion. Can I have him for a pet? He's cuter. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't feel like an onion's gonna be that great in a fight. Like, I feel like an onion is probably pretty likely... Oh my god in heaven. I don't know what my dodge key... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's on control. It's kind of a weird key for dodge. Like, I would assume... I guess you couldn't do it... I, I don't know, man. That thing on that right there. I wonder if there's a... I probably want it, like, on out, maybe, instead. I might rebind that. I don't know. I'm kind of particular about my dodge keys. Some might say that I'm a dodge key elitist. You met our esteemed allies, the Drakes, and you vanquished a pack of pesky ferals. Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are a companionable lot. Yeah, kind souls. Unfortunately, they've had a rough go and ain't what they used to be. Invaders, those terminers the note mentioned, made a real mess of things, so they're a little skittish around newcomers with a penchant for brawling. We're gonna need to do some legwork in order to get their trust. The Drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty, hibernating for a long time. Unfortunately, land's no good, so everything that comes from the ground is going to be blighted and inedible. I'm going to need you to get something to cleanse things for them to eat. You look like a crafty sort, though. Remember that atonement business with the crystals? That right there is your gift. With a little focus, you can let the drakes know what you need built and they'll hop to it. Gather up some lumber. Build a cleansing cauldron. Check back with me once it's built and I'll tell you how to use it. Yeah, take a couple glowstone shards to get you started. You'll need them to build the cauldron. Also, take this healing salve. It's the only one I got, but if you're gonna be scrapping with a grunts, you're gonna need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough if you use that one up. Alright, uh, I'll grab a bag right there, grab that right there. Alright, so we got the healing salves, we got like the crystal things, we've got, we got our meth, we've got our pouch. Uh, is that a, wait, that's a heart right there that I just picked. That's a severed heart. Ooh, bean berries. Nice. Yeah, dude. I'll take some of those. I don't know what they do, but sure. Why not? Add them to the old inventory. I can hold 250 things. All right. So we've got a central location. There's a house up there that appears to need to be explored on like a deep subconscious level. All right. Well, let's go up to the spooky house. Definitely nothing bad has ever happened in an old gabled colonial like this. Ever. Nothing bad has ever happened to anybody inside a house that looks like that. Never mind the fact that it has devil horns growing out of it, dude. That's a new architectural style. We're just behind the times, stylistically, okay? So, uh, what is that over there? Hold up, what are these? What are these? Let me get these. Yeah, I'm gonna take those. Yep. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of them, but I'm gonna take them. There's some more out back over here, too, and there's like a shed over there. Okay, we'll investigate this stuff. We got time. There's plenty of time. We got plenty of time to investigate and check things out. Dude, there's like so many little nooks and cr Okay, let's do the building first. Built- hold on, what is this? Oh, a juice box? Dude, I love juice box! 
Like, high C? Like, that's what's up, dude. Let's get it. The only place that like, what I like to do the pro move is I would go to, like, Burger King. Right? I don't even like Burger King. But I would go to Burger King, right? And you would mix. You get, like, one-third of the orange high C. And then you hit it with, like, two-thirds of Sprite, bro. Whew! That's the good stuff right there. That's that's the good stuff. Some blunderbuss shot and a shoelace. Okay, shoelaces are good. Anytime you have an opportunity to pick up any kind of lashing, that sounds pretty solid. What do we, oh, this one. Oh, that was the winner right there. A shiny object, a juice box, some more blunderbuss shot. Dude, there's like items and things laying around over here. Nice. So it wants me to chop a tree. It wants me to collect lumber and then do a cleansing cauldron. I think I may have gotten a little ahead of myself and started adventuring. Upholstery scrap and some more blunderbuss shot. All right, can I chop a tree? How do I chop a tree down? Like this tree? No way, dude. That's the flimsiest tree I've ever seen in my life. That tree got a chin of glass. I was not expecting to be able to murder a tree that easily. Good news. Oh, cool. We can break the car, too. I like it. I can dig it. I see what they're going for here. All right. I keep thinking those are batteries, but they're juice boxes. Like, I keep being like, oh, right. We got ourselves a 12 volt. Like, nothing. So, once you, once, once you have your own place, it's amazing how many objects use a 12 volt. Like, when you're a kid, you know what I mean? Like, everything's like double A's and triple A's and, like, maybe a D if you get really unlucky. But, like, when you're a grown-ass man, nothing excites me like finding an extra package of 12-volt batteries, like, buried in a drawer somewhere. I'm like, yo, 12-volt battery! Like, I, I get it. I shouldn't get it. As I get older, I find that I get excited about more and more dumbass stuff that really is kind of mundane. Like, a well-mowed lawn, for example. I guess I'll just put that right there. They did a really good job with the modeling of the characters. Like, they look good. Like, the eyes are pretty adorable. Like, on the little critters and whatnot. Like, honestly, I'm fairly impressed by how well modeled this game is. But then again, the Flame and the Flood was remarkably well stylized, too. It was a good looking game as well, in terms of, like, its design aesthetically, so. Nice work, kid. I know you had it in you. Now for the most important part, using that cauldron. You'll need to investigate the island for some things. I need some juice boxes and bane berries. Get at least four of each of those, walk up to the cauldron and toss them in. Soon the berries and the juice are gonna be cleansed and the drakes can chow down. Knowing they got a meal should show them that you're not looking to do them no harm. All right, dude, now you got the supplies, so uh, let's throw it in there. Like, what do they do? They poop some crystals or something to let me build more base-like stuff? Is that what it is? Or do I just, like, feed off of the, the toter? Okay, so he's a woodcutter. Alright. And apparently my camp gets a little bit of XP. Alright. And then a wormer. Okay. So, like, what do they do? Do they, like, help the camp out? Like, it looks like maybe... Oh, we actually have to keep them happy. Okay. Food, water, and entertainment. Okay. Alright, well, we're gaining everything but entertainment. So we gotta do something about entertainment. It looks like they drag back resources. Nice. Okay. The Drakes weren't always like this. Their hearts are the same. But their minds aren't. Not since the Terminer came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the Drakes. Even send you home once they get their magic back. Before we go saving off the world, you better finish tending to the Drake's basic needs. The Drakes don't just need food and water. They're gonna need a place to sleep, and also those folks can literally die of boredom. You've proven to be pretty crafty. Think you can give them some sleeping spots and entertainment? Why don't you try building them a couple thatched beds and poppets? You get everything you need for the thatched bed from trees, and for the poppets, look along the shorelines for cattails. Beat up some cars for the upholstery. See, the secret to that accent is you gotta really lean into, like, not saying R's unless they're at the front of the word. If the R's are at the front of the word, you can say them, like, rejected. Like, you say right there, but on the back end, like, ha, huh, you always gotta just, like, leave it off. That's the secret right there. Ooh, cattails. We needed those, right? Yeah, let's grab some cattails. Alright, so what does it take for me to, like, build all this stuff? So we got the furniture, right? So I need some leaf bundles and I need some charms. We've got poppets right there, but I still need charms for those. So, we gotta dig up some charms. I, I don't know where I get charms from. 
but I, I think it's a, a valid thing to concern ourselves with. Let's grab a couple of these things over here. Yep, probably gonna need some more of those. Maybe cars? Maybe they come out of cars. Who knows? Oh my god. What just happened? I got confused. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what just took place. It seemed like maybe I got hurt for a second, but like I didn't lose any health, and we seem to be okay. So I'm not gonna question it. We should probably get back to exploring though. There was an entire beach around the backside of this place that like we didn't have enough time to take a look at, so we'll swing back through there. Alright, so there was nothing out back. But even though we hit just about everything on this lower area, I don't think we went upstairs, so at least try to loot the house. Let's take a look here. Oh, we got duffels. Okay. A waffle iron. Is that a weapon? It's got to be a weapon, right? Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, dude, we got the waffle iron. I, I feel like a waffle iron is going to do better than a stick. Is there a way for me to look at that and figure out which is better? Yeah, dude, it's way better. It's got to be. So it's like 22 DPS versus 11 DPS. We're solid. All right, so we'll take that out right there. Really glad we found that. So I got a feeling we're going to be beating down a lot more enemies before this is all over. A nail gun. What? Okay. All right. Fair enough. As a roofer, I've had many a nail gun fight in my life. Many. Like, many, many. Like, I grew up, like, some people adopt the nail gun fight when they, re when they come of age. I've been, I've been nail gun fighting since I was, like, 12 years old, a young apprentice. You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like I'm kind of peerless. Oh, there's a page right here. What does that say? Herein lies the full account of events which plagued the goodly folk of our fair town. I, the noble mason, duly appointed head of the Terminer Court, acted to halt the aggravation of the invisible world on our populace, and in so doing encountered witchery most foul. Okay. All right. Uh, we still haven't picked up any of the... Hold on. I got, like... Is that those messages right here? I was going to say, like, somebody email me? It looks like I got emailed. Like, I've got, like, a little, like, you've got mail, like, terminal thing going on, like, up in the top left-hand corner. A candlestick. Ooh, that's a weapon, too. All right. I like it. I like it. I'll take it. It's baller and it's gold. That's all that I require. Luckily, I don't think our... Do our weapons have... Oh, they do. They have a little durability meter. All right. Color me disappointed. I was hoping they would last forever, but... You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll rotate through some weapons. It doesn't matter that much. I'm not heartbroken. You're heartbroken. I'm not crying. You are. Uh, let's go up to... There's a lighthouse over here. Do we have, like, a map? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so, like, our first world... That's a lot of islands. That's quite a few. Uh, we're gonna need charms. I think, I think charms are definitely gonna be something that we're hunting for. I don't see any location that looks like it drops charms. We can't cross water, though. I tried that. It did not work out super great. Don't cross water. Uh, the water is kind of graspy. You see what I mean? Like, the water is a little... The water is a little clingy, all right? The water needs to learn proper spacing and just kind of, like, the distance to give people when they want to be on their own. And the water hasn't... Oh, my God. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. I don't like you. All right. So, I mean, I do, I do think you're cute, all right? I, I know that I said that earlier. I'm sorry that I went back on it, and now I'm saying that you're not cute, because I do think you are. Like, I would definitely rather have you as a friend than the onion monsters, because you look like a dog, and I like dogs. But it is what it is. The game has pitted us against each other. Okay, I'll smack him. Uh, froze up. Oh, it fires a three-shot burst. Gotcha. Okay. I don't really have that many nails, so unfortunately, I don't think we're really going to be that set up. Grab some more of these guys. There's got to be some charms. Like, oh, I like the destroyed bridge over there. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, there's a radio menu too. Nice. I'm sure that's been on the screen now for like 10 minutes, and I've just been so transfixed with the game that couldn't help it. Juice box over there. All right. What's going on over here? A little outhouse. What's up with? Ooh, crystals. Nice. Glowstone shards. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the world of wonder that is Magpie's Emporium. If you've got shiny objects, I'm exactly the sort of cultured aficionado that you should be speaking with. I can tell from a quick look that you're also a person of refined taste. I think we're going to get along famously. 
Please, browse around, look at my wares. I'm always looking to make a deal and expand my vast collection of rare and wonderful shiny objects. Check in every day. New stock arrives every morning. All right, well, let's take a look. You got any You got any of the charms? That's what I really need is I need charms. It doesn't look like he has charms. So unfortunately, we still have not found the solution to our, to our charmless adventure right now. Maybe they're inside this cave up here. Let's go investigate. Oh, I figured it out. Okay, so like these little guys, they do stuff, and if you keep them happy, they give you charms, dude. I've been running around, and I like... The game didn't tell me, dude. It didn't tell me. So like you talk to these little guys, and they give you the charms that you need because they've been happy for a little while. All they, I don't know if I missed it. Maybe I'm just really bad at reading. Let's look. Toter, what you got for me? See? He's got them too. See? All right, so we figured it out. Uh, let's go ahead, and I think what I'm going to do is we've got more than enough. We can make a thatched bed over here for sure. I don't have a lot of leaf bundles, but yeah, there we go. Put that in like right there. Oh, they're gonna build it. Good for you guys, man. Look at you, industrious little bastards. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I like how I don't have to do anything and they just take care of all of it for me. That's like my, oh, there's a monster in a trash can. Who would have guessed? But he's got a giant meth crystal, so that's pretty cool. A few more leaf bundles over here. All right, we'll put another one in right there. So there's our next one. And then finally, we need like some poppets. So there's a poppet right there. And we can kind of just, they need two of them, right? So we'll kind of just put those around. They don't need to be like symmetrical because people don't leave their stuff laying around symmetrical. You kind of just like throw it on the counter or whatever. There we go. All right, what's Wise Crow up to? What you doing, man? What are you doing over here? Just hanging out, not contributing? Look at that, they grow up so fast. So as you may have realized, supplies on the island are a bit limited. So about that situation, as you've maybe figured out, you're a little trapped here. Fear not though, as you also most likely surmise, this isn't an unfixable situation. Like most problems in the hollow, you can build your way out of it. Take this schematic, you can use it to unlock the ancient arcane art of building a curio shop. Go ahead, build one. All right. Cool, man. Let's uh, let's build a curio shop, I guess. Yeah, dude, I'll pick up your magical scroll. Why not? I don't question this at all. There it is right there. All right, so schematic. And now we got the bench. It just takes five lumber and ten charms, so I think we're, like, good. I'll probably just kind of, like, I don't know which way it's facing. They forgot to put in the indicator arrow. It tells you which way it's facing. It doesn't really matter. I'm sure we can, like, interact with it from any direction that we want. But at the same time... For aesthetic reasons, I always want to know what way an item is, like, facing before I place it. It's just who I am. I'm a stickler about it. I'm a stickler about placement. Alright, so, the Curio Workshop, we use it for R&D of Curios, which are gadgets and knickknacks. Once you've unlocked a recipe, you can make more. Alright, cool. So we've got Healing Salves unlocked, we've got Aether Wards... Uh, it protects us against the ill effects of aether exposure. Oh, nice. That's probably the thing that lets us get across the water right there. Because the water does get a little bit graspy and gropy. That good feeling I had about you just keeps getting better. I'm sorry to drag you in at all this, but things have gotten pretty desperate. There's still drakes out there that need your help. Climb the, the, climb the lighthouse up north. Take a look-see. Keep an eye out for hibernating drakes along the way. Grab any schematics you might find. Come back and talk to me once you've explored around there a little bit. All right. Yeah, the lighthouse is over here. I saw it when we were up in the house. Yeah, I explored all these islands over here looking for the charms, and then finally I realized you got to interact with the little dudes on the ground. If you keep them happy and fed and taken care of, that's when you end up getting the goodies. Uh, so let me see here. We've got our Aether Ward right here. How long does that last for? Like 15 seconds? Oh, and you, like, can't sprint while it's active. Oh, that's a really cool effect. I like that. It's got kind of like a Noah parting the sea thing going on. I'm sorry, not Noah. Moses parting the... It's got kind of like a Moses parting the Red Sea type deal going on. Well, that's not too bad. That worked out pretty good. I mean, it's got some spread on it. It's got a, it's got a nice spread, but unfortunately, it's not going to be... It, it's not going to be a long-term weapon that we want to use, I don't think. Sooner or later, we'll get like that AK, you know what I mean? Just pop, 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 pop. We'll be able to really defend some drakes. What's up with the music? That was weird. Huh. 
Oh, hey. Hi, how are you? Oh, that gave me a bunch of blueprints. I don't know if those are blueprints or fabric. Could be either or. Eh, yeah, I'll take a couple of those. I'm trying to pick things up as I go so that I can I can feed the drakes when I get back. Like every single like juice box and item you pick up sort of makes them happy and like fixes them up. A tent pole. Okay, that's probably a weapon of some kind. I mean, I wouldn't use a tent pole to hit somebody with. They're kind of flimsy and they got that weird ropey thing in the middle. I don't know. Oh, it's kind of a small area to get trapped with an enemy. An aluminum slugger. Ooh, hello. Okay, that's a real weapon right there. The aluminum slugger's got 20 DPS. That's got 25. The tent pole does, really. Huh. Color me surprised. 22 on that, 20 on that. So a baseball bat. Weird. All right, well, I guess that's our guy. Oh, it's two-handed. That's why. Okay. All right, so it's a little slower. Schematic right there. Definitely take that. And then inside of here, we've got a chair leg and a new lore page. I don't know where I am, but I know who I was. My name is Sarah Howe, midwife's apprentice. Daughter, sister, dutiful to my lord. I lay down my life story here as plain as I can for whosoever should may find it. I write lest I think my old life was a dream. I swear it can't be true. Hmm. Yeah, like, he said he was foggy. He said he was foggy when he was on the other side. Is the same thing going to happen to me? To date, five souls have come before our court, each accused by use of spectral evidence question and sent to the maker. Some call such means of inquiry severe, but I say to thee, if they will not confess in this life, they shall do so in the next. For who am I to begrudge the doomed their fate? Apparently they're hunting heretics or something around here. It's a little concerning. Uh, there's a thing on top of the roof right there, another schematic. Take that too. Nice. You know, people had said that, like, targeting was finicky with, with the swinging and whatnot, but I'm not feeling it, dude. Like, I came in here trying to sort of, like, see... Oh, it's a musical indicator that takes you to rare stockpiles. Okay, so that little, that chime sound you're hearing, or that music box music, it's just letting you know that there's, like, dope loot nearby that you probably want to get your hands on. Oh, there's a drake. Hold on. There's a new one. Hey, little buddy. Five charms, health restored. He does bloodstone, he's an infant, and he's a plepling. Okay. Okay. I assume he's just gonna head back to base and then he'll like grow up and get stronger. I don't know. We're out of time though. This is Drake Hollow. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I actually, I really like the aesthetic. I think the game looks really, really great. What a year for indie games, man. For all the absolute travesty that 2020 has been as a year, just with all the natural disasters and everything else, like, I'm literally having, like, my voice was going this morning just from the smoke. One of the big California fires is, like, two miles from my house, and so, like, it's just like, oh. But all, all that aside, man, you gotta look at the positives sometimes, dude. Just what a year for gaming, man. What a year for gaming. It has just been insane in the indie genre. Check this game out down below. I'll have a link for you. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Take care, and I'll be back tomorrow. I'll probably be streaming this, so check it out on Twitch TV. I do have a channel that'll be linked down in the description. I also have a Discord if you wanted to, you know, come hang out with my community. Oh, he's got a present for me. Nice. Let's go see what the present is before we end this thing. Let's go look. So you got a little present right here because I saved your life. Oh, he gave me a blunderbuss bullet. Thanks, little buddy. Everybody loves bullets between friends. I'll see y'all later. Take care, everybody.